Hey, it's Mrs. Capper. It is October 12th, 2019. And yesterday we had somebody come in to do our hardwood floors in uh, Kentucky in the farmhouse. For those of you that have been watching, uh, had some really good floors, but they definitely needed some assistance. So let's watch this. So there's my original red oak hiding underneath there. Hang in there. You're coming back. When I do end up sanding it and refinishing it, I'm going to have to use the, the bigger drum sander because there's a lot of damage on here. It's not going to be perfect. I know that. It's an old house. I'm good with some character. So it wasn't until then that I had this flashback. Oh, and then I remembered. Uh, we had a 1920 farmhouse rehab. In uh, It was our first Illinois home. And I thought, oh, it's a small area. It was just the kitchen. It was flats on heart pine. And it was pretty beat up. There was spray paint on it. There was nails from a carpet being tacked on there. But after a full day of sanding and two days of sealing and one bottle of Advil and another bottle of blush, I was able to get it back to the finish uh, originally or even better so as much as I thought yeah it was worth it oh I remembered how much it hurt so just to kind of recap the living room and this is that master bedroom the floors were all intact um, they were pretty beat up um, but you know they just needed some attention and uh, cleaning really good cleaning because it was so dirty in there but I figured, you know, it's only two rooms, so it's a little bit bigger than the other one. But I could probably handle it. I mean, I did the other one. And unfortunately, the kitchen floors, once we got the covering off, it was uh, too, too much water damage. So we weren't going to refinish those. So the first step they did was, you know, they just vacuumed it, cleaned up, got some of the dirt off. Now, we didn't have the actual footage of this, so it's, I'm just kind of showing you the basics of it. What they did was they put on a non-toxic stripper. It was an all-green, low VOC. And instead of scraping it, they used a buffer to get that off. Here's the guy putting that stripper down. Again, this is just a clip of what it looked like before. And even just with the stripper on, it looks better. But it'll get even better than that. So this is in the living room. Um, same thing, except he's putting one of the first coats of either the bonding or the sealer on it. And as you can see, they can walk on it pretty shortly after they put it on. And this was a scratch that I put on. I know it lasted so long, um, but they were able to get that out. It wasn't um, too deep, so that's covered up. And then this was what the living room looked like after it was done. And that's what it looked like before. So a lot cleaner. Um, it does not sand it flat, but it made it um, a lot more cleaner. So he's just finishing up one of the coats of sealer in the bedroom in the back. That's what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like with the coats of the sealer on. And that was back in the living room. That was before. So I'm really pleased. I have not seen it yet, but you can definitely tell the difference. That's the corner between the living room and that first bedroom. So it was definitely worth the time and money. That's what it looked like before in that corner and what it looks like now. So just to kind of summarize, it, it, it really was less than half the cost of sanding. They completely finished in a day. Like I said, they use a non-toxic green stripper. Uh, it's a low VOC, so you can stain the home. 
They can use a stain remediation, bonding agents, and two coats of sealer, two coats of finish, a five-year guarantee, and sock friendly the same day. And best of all, there was no dust created, no bottles of Advil for me, and I was able to enjoy a bottle of blush. Once I get back in the house there, I will take some more pictures and some more videos. So stay tuned. Lots more to come.